We just hopped on the plane and now we are ready to go to Minneapolis. Join us on our adventure. So we finally arrived in Minneapolis after 29 hours of travel. So since we last left Hamilton it's been 29 hours. So we're finally here, we're in our hotel, it's like, what time is it? Nearly 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock in the morning and so we're going to go to bed and we will see you in the morning for our new adventure. Bye! I look deceptive, it's blue sky, freezing cold weather. So they go through basically the whole city, you can see some more down there. And they were, someone was saying to us that in the winter time, when it's snowing, people can basically live inside and they don't have to leave the outside. I mean, sorry, leave the inside basically. So yeah, that's what, we, that's what we're working on. This is the convention centre here. So let's go. Wait, wait, we've got to wait for the, the hand because we can't go because it's naughty. Even though there's no cars coming. <laughs> It's really busy, but we still got to wait. This is a car turning right. Oh, there's a car. I'll just wait for him. Any minute now. It's a nice old church over there. And any minute. There's lots of traffic. Here we go, it's getting ready. It's getting ready. And go.
So we have made it to Mall of America. We are a bit overwhelmed because it is so huge. They say that it's bigger than, just the mall is bigger than the area of um, Rhode Island. So we've been into about three shops and I'm already overwhelmed. And now we're just about to go into Victoria's Secrets. Let's go. So we're now home after our giant adventure to Mall of America. It was absolutely insane. Nothing can prepare you for the size of that mall. There's four levels and each level is one mile and it's just nothing like I've ever seen before. There was a, um, an amusement park in the middle of it. There was um, an aquarium underneath it. There is just so many things that don't belong in malls but they're there as well so that just adds to the size and apparently there's an extension on it so they're growing it even more and it's just crazy so we are now off to bed and um so this will be the end of the first part of our trip and tomorrow we are starting quilt market with schoolhouse and then sample spray at night time so that will be in the second part so thanks for watching bye <laughs>